Hey everybody, welcome to Building 8 Media's first Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about which camera you should be getting for your first camera. Hey everybody, welcome to our first Tech Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be hopefully getting these out every Tuesday. We're going to try and make sure that we have different tech related uh, issues or questions that we want to have answered or really just get our opinion on. Uh, this week, I wanted to go with the most basic type of question I could get with which camera should you should be your first camera. You'd be surprised how often I actually see that that question pop up on forums, especially on Reddit. Um, usually happens right around like after some type of holiday where all of a sudden people have money. But uh, people always are asking, what camera should I buy first? Which I think is an interesting question because there's really no easy way to answer that question. It really depends on so many different variables. For instance, the first one that's really important is how much is your budget? If it's $500 or less, that's gonna be a completely different type of answer. If you say, okay, well, I have 1500 or I have $2,000 or less, you don't, it's gonna be a whole different ball game. So let's just try and say, okay, a nice ballpark 500 bucks, right? You just got $500 from whatever reason, and now you wanna go get your first camera. Now you have to figure out, what are you gonna do with the camera? Is it gonna be for video? Is it gonna be for photography? What's your what's your overall end game here? What's your, what's your focus? What's your passion? Because that is going to drive a lot of your decision-making and what gear you wanna get. So then we say, okay, I'm gonna be making videos. What gear do I need? I have 500 bucks to spend. I know if I'm gonna be making videos, I'm gonna need a camera. I'm gonna need a lens, I'm going to need a microphone, something to edit with. So I'm gonna need at least those four things just to kind of get me started. 500 bucks when you're buying all those things really doesn't go a long way. So the, again, I'm gonna make this video super quick. I just wanna get our, I just wanna get my uh, recommendations out there for this budget. So we'll say $500, you're gonna be getting a microphone, right? My, my microphone recommendation, video might go. Awesome for the price, gives you great quality. I used it for like six months, it was awesome. Frank still uses it on his camera, it's very good. You're gonna need a lens. So a lens is more of a difficult topic because there's a whole lot of different things, but let's just say you get a camera that includes like a kit lens because really that's what you're, for, for your first camera, your kit lens, that's you're gonna be fine with that especially if you have zero experience, just stick with a kit lens. And then, then from a kit lens, you'll be able to figure out which, which lens you wanna get next. Next week, we'll go more in detail on which lenses you should be getting first. But for now, let's just say you get a camera and it's got a kit lens with it and you're good to go. So after you get a microphone, after you get the extra batteries you need, you, after you get the uh, memory cards, all that stuff, you're gonna have like half your amount, 250 bucks. So what are you gonna be doing with that? My recommendation with that amount is to get a T3i. It's great for the money. You can get them super, super cheap. If you just search YouTube for T3i short bit, short films, you're gonna find a ton of them, great quality. Because really it's a great camera. You just put some good glass in front of it and you're gonna be golden. You should definitely look up DSLR guide. He's been using a T3i for years and he loves it. He has lots of good tips for it. It's a, it's a great camera. That's the camera I'm gonna recommend if you have a $500 budget and you're gonna be working on videos. Now, if you had a $1,000 budget, things change. So now I'm still gonna say stick with the same microphone. Maybe you can get something better, but really you're gonna stick with the same type of gear, but you're gonna be getting a better camera now. So I'm gonna recommend getting an ADD, this camera right here. I love this camera. It's a great camera. And the reason, the main reason why is I feel like this camera will give you a lot more for the money than most other cameras will. And I'm not gonna go into super details about it. You can look up other videos about the, the ADD and they'll give you a lot of like a very, very in-depth review on it. But one of the things that stood out to me is the fact that it has the 45 points of autofocus. You can't really vlog or kind of be on the run with a camera that has crappy autofocus. And even if you, if you wanna say you wanna stay in like the Rebel series, it doesn't the autofocus doesn't start to get decent until like the t6i i think so you know for that amount of money you might as well spend like an extra hundred or two and get a used add that's exactly what i did and i'm completely happy with it it's absolutely great for photography it's great for making videos it's it's awesome so if you have a 500 budget t3i if you have a thousand dollar budget get an add 
you will not be happy. <laughs> All right, so if you have a $500 budget, get a T3i. If you have a $1,000 budget, get an ADD. You're still gonna need a microphone. You're still gonna need memory cards and, and extra batteries and all kinds of stuff that you're just gonna keep collecting and collecting and collecting. But you're going to need a good camera and that's our recommendations. So next week we'll talk more in detail about the lenses that you should be starting off with uh, because lenses and every that you can collect them super quick it's very easy to get lost in lenses and which one you should be getting next and what are they for and all that kind of stuff so i figure we'll just make a quick video on what our recommendations are for which lenses you should be getting when you're starting out for photography or videography so tune in next week and we will be talking about that Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Give a like and subscribe and make sure you check out some of our other videos. We also do uh, weekly short film reviews every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, this week we're going to be talking about Ballistic from uh, Film Riot. Hope you guys can check it out.